Get them the help they need. The Rewind. Weekdays from 1. BBC Radio Surrey. Did you watch it over the weekend? Strictly Come Dancing. Now, you're going to hear a few spoilers here of you. Who, who saves it up to watch during the week? Because it's just like a constant river of Strictly news, isn't it? Anyway, this week we say, uh, say goodbye to uh, Pat and Mike in Newhall on our breakfast sweepstake as they had the actor Adam Thomas alongside Luba and the actor had won over Zara in the dance-off last week before finding himself there again, this time being outperformed by Angela Rippon and her partner Kai. Here's what he had to say about his Strictly experience. Seven incredible weeks. What a journey it's been. Like, I honestly thought that I was going to be leaving in week two and the fact that I've got this far... I, I'm so proud of myself. Like, I've had an amazing time from start to finish. Like, you know, I came here to learn how to dance and I feel like I've learned so much more about myself. You know, the confidence and the self-belief that I have now in, in myself is just, you know, it's, it's out of this world. And I, I've got a lot to thank these guys up here because... <laughs> they love you to oh, this. They really I, do. I could have picked a better bunch to go on this journey with. They've just been incredible. And, yeah, I'm just very lucky. And I know my kids are at home now probably crying, but don't worry, OK? Daddy's OK. But, you know, I just wanted to teach my kids as well. It's not, not, it's not just about, you know, winning and losing. Sometimes it's just about taking part and, and doing your best. Well said. Yeah. Nice stuff. Well, let's get some reaction from somebody who watched every bit of it. Rachel Hurton, the founder of the Synergy Dancing Guildford. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, you should pirouette as we come to you, just to sort of get a spin on things. Um, I will. <laughs> <laughs> was it right that he went, then? I think it was one of the closest starts off in the series, and um, Angela did have a slight edge. So Angela got 28, and Adam got 27. But, it, you know, it was very, very close indeed. They both danced well. Their content and technique was good. But I, I do think it's also, as Anton said, very difficult when you've got separate dances, the rumba and the um, waltz. And the rumba is, is known to, to often um, take people out. But it's very technical. You come in on beat two. And I, I think we all feel that, you know, Angela's a legend. She brings style and elegance to everything. So it was was always going to be a close call. But Adam is a fantastic dancer and he's typically there to inspire the nation to dance. He talks about self-belief and confidence and, you know, about being on the Strictly journey. But that's what dance brings. It really does build confidence. And, and I think he had a great time. We well, mentioned confidence there. I wonder how much a personality like, you know, Angela Rippon, to even find herself in that dance-off, whether your, your sort of confidence might get knocked a wee bit? I think for anyone in the dance-off, it's always disappointing, but she's just such an absolute pro that she takes everything in her stride. And um, she, for me, I, I thought she performed and pushed it even better. And, you know, her dancing's beautiful. And, you know, they were looking for a bit more sweep and flow. Um, and, and she brought it on. But um, it, it must be nerve-wracking going in the dance-off for anyone. But um, I, I just think she's, she's an absolute pro when it comes to performing. And she, and she did push it up a notch. Yeah, she's got a real dancer's posture, hasn't she? Yeah, she has a presence on the screen and she is particularly, in my opinion, good at the ballroom dances and um, her posture's excellent. And she's also, you know, flying the flag for literally to keep dancing and, you know, how good it is for you and, and that it, it's never too late to start and, and that we can carry on indefinitely and it, it keeps us fit. Um, so she's doing a wonderful job. Right. Who do you think's improved? Because I always think, oh, God, have you put me on that? I'll be absolutely rubbish. But I guess people do come and try out a bit of dance during this show, you know, come and see people like yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So I think um, Angela and Kai are one to watch. Angela's really improved, um, you know, and I think she, she could be a contender for the final. And also um, there is the, the news presenter, Christian, and he's, he's absolutely, you know, winning the hearts of everyone because you can see he has sort of discovered himself through dance and um, is really enjoying every moment, finding it fun. And he did a couple's choice this week, which was really joyful and fun. And he's inspiring his kids. Um, so he's really improved. And um, I also feel that um, Annabelle and Johannes are doing really well. Annabelle did a couple's choice and she was fantastic. She told a story. Uh, she's also one to watch. Right. We've got uh, the couples dancing for a place in Blackpool next week. 
Who do you really want to see there? Well, you've just clearly told us, uh, Christian, and also Angela. Who else would you like to make sure? Well, uh, well, maybe I'll spin it on his head. Who can go next for you, Rachel? <laughs> well, I'll answer both. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, my favourite. Um, Ellie and and I do think Angela and Carlos as well. Um, so um, I, I, it's difficult at this stage because they're all very good. Um, I think to be honest, it will depend on the dance, you know, because perhaps Krishnan's got a lot to learn still. He's really really new to dancing, but anyone can get caught out if they get a difficult dance like the um, rumba or the samba. So, but I definitely think the strongest contenders are Leighton, Annabelle, Angela. And Ellie. Well, look, good to talk to you. Where is Synergy Dance in Guildford? Where are you? Oh, we're, we're based um, at Guildford Spectrum. And um, throughout, we've got, we're national now since we came to film this. Um, but that's our main hub. Um, and that's where we're running Christmas workshops too. Oh, wow. All right, good. All right. And everything going well at the minute? Yes, we, we're actually on our 10th award for, um, um, for diversity and inclusion and the latest award was for the, um, we were singled out for being dance activity provider for all ages because really we are flying the flag for inclusivity and we now do seated and standing dance. Um, we've got a on-demand platform for anyone that wants to practice at home and we've always been here for children and young people but in the recent since lockdown we really pivoted and made sure that we were delivering for everyone um, and as I say we're up in East Midlands now and London, so yeah, it's it's spreading fast. This power of dance, amazing. Good talking to you, Rachel. Thanks for Thank watching you. over the weekend. We will speak again as the series continues. Time on this Monday morning, sixth of November, is half past seven.